Hello and welcome to my graveyard vlog. Hi strangers, it is a very cold and damp wet morning here down at the graveyard. So I have my hood on, hoping that I don't get too wet, but I'm still here, I'm still at the graveyard, and I'm still here to give you some updates of my week. So, let me get to my notes. So, first of all, I want to know how was your week, and what have you been up to, and what were your favourite things you did this week? I love knowing, you know, the things that people love more in their week, so you know just anything you can comment below and let me know that'd be great because i love hearing what you've been up to this week there's definitely been more makeup yes i've been trying lots of different kinds of makeup um different colors at the beginning of the week and i tried a traditional goth makeup which was was actually trickier than i thought it was going to be i have done it a couple of times before and this look I went for this time, it it was very tricky, but it was, I like things that, you know, are challenging sometimes. So it, yeah, I would definitely say that was a challenging moment. So yes, new colours, I tried some greens, I still haven't tried purples yet, I, I'm still needing to give that a go. I had fun playing with my eyebrows this week, I've had very fat eyebrows and very thin eyebrows. We went Gothma shopping around HMV and I really love going around the shops and seeing if I can find bargains because bargains are what I really love. So yes, we looked around for some bargains. I managed to buy some gifts. That was really fun. I do try and buy bargains and things that are very low in price because I think that's the best for my wallet. and. Yeah, I just enjoy, I really enjoy just looking around for bargains, just really love it. Also, I ordered a really massive Killstar order, which I don't normally order from Killstar, but of course they had a big Black Friday sale and I managed to pick up lots of things and most of the things were only like five, six pound each for like dresses and things. So. Yes, yeah, so Monday I will be definitely posting up a video about my Killstar order and you can find out what things I got and if they're any good. There are so many, so many Black Friday bargains. They were everywhere, it was so hard trying to find where to spend my bit of money I had. Because I have been saving, but for a golf box for Christmas and sadly now I'm going to have to save all over again. I would save a lot of money since I have stopped smoking and I am drinking a lot less alcohol. Um, I used to drink a quite a lot of alcohol but um, the last few years I haven't so and smoking I used to smoke a lot and now I've gone to vaping and that's saving so much money so it's nice to have a bit of play money to buy some goth things to show you guys and so I have more goodies. So we had a, this story this week was beware of the gunks as you know i have a hatred for these things so bad and yes so this story was all about the gunks and how they got me so if you haven't seen that please go and check that out it's a very fun story so i write these stories all myself and yeah, I just find it so fun. I've always enjoyed story writing and, you know, horror stories to me make life seem much better. So I see it in a different way probably to most people. And also in horror movies, I just adore the makeup and the blood and the gore and all the hours that people spend making props and things like that. That's what I really love about horror. So. I managed to sort my hair out this week. You can't really see it because I'm wearing a hood today. But I have cut my fringe and I've dyed it. So I'm feeling nice and fresh. I did have a, 
a really bad couple of days throughout the week, I have got a slight cold. I thought it was COVID to start with because I was aching and I was sick and not nice. And so I'm thinking it's just a cold now because I am feeling slightly better, thank goodness. I thought I was gonna lose my voice again and everything and not do any videos. So I was kind of worried about that. Doing my hair and dyeing it and just spend some time on myself. So I have got a small video here, well not a small video, a video of me doing my hair and doing my makeup and dyeing it and cutting it. If you'd like to see, you can watch it now. Hi strangers, I've woken up again today feeling very ill. I think I have COVID again for the second time this year. So to try and pick myself up a little bit, I thought I would do a get ready with me and do my hair and yes yeah, show you how how i get my hair sorted out so i first of all going to dye my hair today because i have a lot i don't know whether you can see or not but i do have gray hair coming through again and so i'm going to um use this and try and get my hair back to that nicer black color my hair is naturally brown very dark brown so i'm just going to put this dye on and try and get it back to its nice black color so stick around if you want to find out how i do my hair So yes, when I dye my hair, I always make sure that I have a packet of wipes with me because I always get it everywhere. I Today I am using Live, which is the Deep Black number 99. This was on quite a good offer on Amazon. I think it was like 4 99 So I just went for the cheapest this time. It's not my favorite. It's, it's just because I need to dye my hair and it was the cheapest at the time so yes i decided to go with this one this time very looking forward to having my hair nice and black again do you clean up all of the mess i made with some wipes before it dries in and why that is working, I am now going to go and sort out my room. I'm going to pick my bed and I'm going to tidy up. I'll see you soon. Hi, I'm back. I have just washed all the dye out of my hair and yes now it's time to get it dry so i'm just towel drying drying it a bit here this is meant to protect your hair when you are drying it so yes i am using this stuff and then i'm just going to massage that in the ends Yes, nice and black now. So I'm now going to get this dry with a hair dryer. Just going to give it a quick wash through. Make sure all that serum is through my hair. So we're near enough dry now. Um, Yes, my hair is very big right now. Naturally, my hair is very curly. So, as you can see, it's very, very puffy and very light right now. The, the serum does help smoothen it out a lot because normally, if I'd hair dry this without it, it would be out here. So, it has smoothed it down a lot already. So, the next thing I do is I'll straighten all this out now with my hair straighteners. And then after that i'm planning to cut my very uneven fringe it has grown a lot since last time i cut it 
and it seems very uneven so I'm going to straighten it out with the hair straighteners and then we'll come back let's get it straightened now so I've started running myself a nice bubble bath I, I really want this bath and I'm going to straighten my hair first before that so I'm just going to split this in half and tie this up and I'll just get on and I will straighten I'm not happy I'll, I'll tell you why right after sitting here blow drying it for a bit I have found some grey hairs that have not died and I'm sad. Okay, I, I'll let you know what my... So, I don't have my hair straighteners on a very hot heating. I've only got it on 190. Because for some reason, my hair just snaps and breaks out if it's too high. And I'm just slowly straightening out my hair. getting so long again I'm now gonna grab round and get the a bit as far as round as I can from this side I'm so looking forward to my Killstar bargain bag to turn up I bet loads of people went and took advantage of that 80% off um, sale from Killstar I don't normally buy from well I do buy from Killstar but the last Probably year and a half I haven't so much. Just because I realised their like sizes have all changed up. Because I normally are medium from Killstar. Some of the things I ordered last time in a medium just didn't fit at all. Yeah, I'm one of them people just who won't go to the hairdressers because I prefer to do it myself. I think it's because um, watching my mum as I've grown up, she never went to the hairdressers and things like that. And I kind of learned of her. She was always, I always saw her as a really strong, independent um, woman. And I wanted to be like her. So, you know, I've never really been to the hairdressers my whole life. I've just done it, you know, box hair dyes learning things um of course now with youtube and things it makes it so much easier so if you want to learn something it's quite easy just to have a little google search and and there you go here's your hundreds of videos and answers on everything it makes it so much easier but i've always seen it as you know it's an expensive thing to go and have done is your hair Especially with how much things are these days as well. It's, you know, it's a lot cheaper to pick up a box hair dye and some hair straighteners and a hair dryer and probably about the same price really. And then you can just do it all yourself. But it's just learning them skills. I think it's really fun and it's and it's really rewarding when you when you you know when you do things yourself. Like this is pretty basic, like dyeing my hair blonde. I can't do that. I've tried lots of times throughout the years. Um, having red hair is my favourite, but I get so annoyed because it looks nice for a week and then it just washes out and washes out. And it's very expensive having to keep, you know, dyeing it red. But I might, I might go, I might dye it red soon. I am, um, I might, I'm thinking about growing up my fringe at some point as well. So I do like it when I've got a long, a longer fringe sometimes. Okay, now I'm taking sections from the top. I 
Okay, that's all straightened out now. What I'm going to do now is I will, um, I've still got my hair straighteners on in case I need them. This looks pretty straight to me. So, use these. Sometimes um, if I'm going out somewhere really nice for the evening, I will do my makeup. And I always keep a piece of plastic with me and I pop it underneath my fringe. And then what I do is I use a mirror and I cut straight across looking through this plastic. That way I don't get any hair on my face, which is great. But today we don't have to worry about it because I haven't had my bath yet. So I wanted to sort my hair out first because it was driving me insane. Okay, so always make sure the clippers are, so I'm sorry, these are really gross. I used it for my husband's hair last. Um, you can, this is it out. So, and then if you look closely, that is it up. So that's, so that's where you want it. Just gonna clean this up a little bit because it's gross. Okay, I think I'm all done with my fringe now. So as you can see, it's probably, I'll probably do some more cutting to it anyway. I'll just keep coming in, making sure it's all nice and even. And yes, I'm going to go and enjoy my bubble bath and I will be back shortly to, um, to finish this video. See you in a bit. Hi, all at the bath, dressed, feeling so much better now. And now I'm just going to get on and do some quick makeup. And maybe we can have a little chat now. We haven't got the hair dryer going and stuff like that. So I have put on my face cream. Now I'm going in for my foundation. So yeah, I didn't have a very good night last night. It was pretty terrible. I don't want to go into too much details about it, but it wasn't nice, but you know that. So yeah, I've got now got a really stuffy nose, so I'm sounding a bit weird, and I just feel really groggy. And my husband was so kind this morning. He took my boy to school, and and he's gone off to work, and he's sick too. So I feel quite bad about about that. But he did try and get the day off, but. He couldn't get cover for him, so he's stuck at work feeling like this. Awful. The neighbours are banging away as normal, like every day. And it's, it's, it's so depressing. Like, being at home can be just so irritating because our neighbour is always having things done to her house. And she has she has her little dog barking the whole time and then her building her builders are there just making so much noise and now i get to do the nice part of this in and that's making myself pretty well making myself me that's that's what i that's what i call it Right, I'm just doing some nice basic makeup today. I don't want to go too nuts. So I'm using Eerie from my Revolution. And <clears throat> Eerie is one of my favourite, as you can see. It's like, I'm sorry, the palette's manky, but Eerie is near enough gone. I've had this one for a long time and <sighs> Eerie is my, my go-to. So I'm just going to go in around here with that. A nice and light basic makeup today. I hope that all you guys are well. I know that this bug is, is going around everywhere at the moment. And I hope you enjoyed seeing how I do my my hair. My fringe may not be perfect, my hair may not be solid black, 
but I know I did it myself and it didn't cost me nothing apart from my time so I'm going underneath my eye a little bit around here and then I'm gonna go and move some eyeliner so back with my soft pencil There's two done. Now some liquid eyeliner. So I've gone for some nice strong brows today. So I really enjoyed doing my gonk story yesterday. I hope you guys managed to check that out because it's quite funny because I wrote it about me and the gonk I got in my mystery book so it's quite fun. I managed to use some fake blood which was fun too. Only a little bit just to give it a bit more of a dramatic feeling to the story. And I have to come in with some black eyeshadow. So in this palette it is called Gothic. And then I'm going to do my lashes and our wig. And a little moon and, and a cross on my forehead. So I'm going to give that a go today. I'm starting with a semicircle. And then a little cross on the top there. And then I'm going to do some little crosses at the bottom. So here's the finished look. I went very chunky with my eyebrows for some reason today. So yes, I have got big brows going on. I'm not too sure about them. I'd probably wipe them off soon. But yes, I am trying to make myself feel better and I hope that I will feel better tomorrow a little bit. But this has definitely helped. Thank you so much for tagging along and just being with me and I will see you tomorrow for the next Sunday the next Sunday vlog goodbye also had a Timu order so that was really cool lots of goth things again of course I only order all goth stuff from Timu I have done a separate Christmas order for my children but I will only show you goth goodies okay so don't worry about that if I put a Timu video up it will be goth exclusive so just black just horror or just witchy because that's the stuff i love
I feel so lucky that I've managed to um, get these orders and open them with you. I feel really privileged and you guys are all so lovely and I really appreciate you um, supporting me in my journey of YouTube and coming along and doing all these things with me. And if you would like to help me out a little more, because I'm not getting any money for this, I'm having to use all my own pennies. And if you guys would like to help, you can. So, first of all, I have, sorry, I'm reading my notes at the same time here, because I don't remember things. So you can either help me with a Timu order, or just buy me a hot chocolate on these cold days I'm having to spend in the graveyard, which I don't mind, it's beautiful out here. It's all rainy and damp, and you can smell the leaves rotting in the ground. Oh, it's delightful. So yeah, so if you do want to buy me a hot chocolate while I'm out at the graveyard, or just, you know, give me a pound or a little tip, you can check out my link tree. So that is link, then tr, dot ee forward slash gothic eternity so you can check out that link and you can have a look at there or i have beacons which i don't really like beacons but you can look at beacons if you like that is spelt b-e-a-c-o-n dot a-i forward slash gothic eternity i'll put them all on the screen here for you so you can see them as well Uh, but the way you can help me more than anything um, and I'm planning so many things to do once I have some um, people on my Patreon I want to do some giveaways and things like that but no one's joined it yet so I'm a bit sad about it but if you join that that would be amazing it would help me out a lot that is Patreon I'll put it here for you Patreon oh, dog Patreon.com forward slash gothic eternity and then you can go and check that out as well that'd be great and don't forget and i am a gamer too and chucky is coming out on dead by daylight so you get to run around as little chucky and i am very excited that comes out i think on the 28th of november so if you love your horror and want to check out some gaming or, or you're a gamer and want to check it out too I will be buying him as soon as he's available so or you can come you can come and watch me over on my twitch so my twitch account is twitch.tv forward slash x star underscore raven x but yes Chucky Yes, I'm going to love running around as Chucky and it's going to be fun. So, you, yeah, I can't wait for that. As you know, I'm a big fan. I've even got a big tattoo of Dead by Daylight on my hand because I am such a fan. But yeah, if you guys could do any of them things for me, I would appreciate it so much. And I hope you're all having a really lovely, spooky, cool day on this chilly, rainy Sunday morning. And I will see you tomorrow for hopefully a kill star video. And don't forget. Hang on, let me get this big effect. Be weird. Be yourself and be different. Because otherwise, you're just boring. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thanks for coming along. Have a great day. Bye. Bye 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 bye.